Hello students, today we are going to discuss the topic of drug tolerance. Now this video is ninth in the series of videos on general pharmacology. Now what is drug tolerance? Reduced response to a drug following its repeated use is called as tolerance. When we take a drug repeatedly at frequent intervals, after some time, the same dose of drug will not produce the same response as it was producing earlier. It will produce lesser effect. So now, higher dose of the drug is required to produce the same earlier response. This is called as tolerance. Now, very important to remember that tolerance develops gradually over a long period of time from weeks to months. And tolerance develops to drugs like, uh, for example, salbutamol, cocaine, morphine, barbiturates, etc. Tolerance develops due to two main reasons. Tolerance can develop because of pharmacokinetic reasons and uh, because of pharmacodynamic reasons. Now, pharmacokinetic tolerance occurs due to enhanced enzymatic breakdown of drug on frequent repeated consumption. Now this enhanced breakdown of drug increases elimination of drug reducing its concentration at the site of action and this results in the development of tolerance. For example drugs like barbiturates, carbamazepine induce their own metabolism on frequent repeated use and this results in tolerance. In pharmacodynamic tolerance Action of the drug is reduced due to down regulation of receptors that is receptors are inactivated or receptors are degraded. Receptors are broken down due to constant stimulation. Second important cause can be desensitization of receptors that is sensitivity of receptors reduces and now they require higher dose of drug to produce prior uh, the same prior or the earlier response. Now drugs like cocaine, alcohol rapidly develop pharmacodynamic tolerance. Uh, now let's discuss uh, types of drug tolerance. Now first type of drug tolerance is the natural tolerance. Here the species or the individual is inherently less sensitive to drug. So natural tolerance is genetic or inherent tolerance. For example, rabbits are naturally tolerant to atropin. Black races are inherently tolerant to mydriatics. Another type of tolerance is the acquired tolerance. Now this acquired tolerance occurs on the repeated use of drug. Now acquired uh, tolerance can develop to one action of drug sparing other actions of the drug. For example, tolerance develops to the sedative action of chlorpromazin but not to its antipsychotic action. Similarly, tolerance occurs to the sedative action of phenobarbitone but not to its antiepileptic action. Another type of tolerance is the cross tolerance. It is a development of tolerance to pharmacologically related drugs. Now, cross tolerance is the development of tolerance to multiple drugs belonging to the same class. However, closer the two drugs, more pharmacologically related the two drugs, more complete is the uh, cross tolerance. For example, partial cross tolerance develops between morphine and barbiturate since both of them are CNS depressants. Now, CNS depressant is a, a broad category. So, morphine and barbiturates, they both are uh, CNS depressant and partial uh, cross tolerance uh, exists between morphine and barbiturates. Now, complete cross tolerance occurs between morphine and pathidine as they are very closely related. Both of them are opioid analgesics. So, this is in brief on drug tolerance. If you find the video useful, kindly like, subscribe and share this video. Thanks for watching this video.